So hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for me to welcome you back to another one of these FIFA 18 top tips videos and today I'm going to be bringing you the top 10 best under 18 players in FIFA 18 career mode. So anyone who's of the age of 17 or 16, they are in this video if they've got a very high potential. It's completely based on potential as well, nothing else. It's in top 10 order of the players with the highest potential on FIFA 18 career mode. There are some ridiculously good players in this video, especially useful for Road to Glory career modes. But if you're going to enjoy the video, then make sure to slap a like on it and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also apologies if there's any voice breaks in this. I, we hosted a house party yesterday and my voice is dead from doing that and a, co and a combination of about 17 commentaries in the last three days but apart from that it's time to get into the video and in at number 10 the first player in this video is the young Spaniard Brahim Diaz from Manchester City very skillful player very good dribbling etc he's actually got three traits as well on top of that He's massively versatile, can play as an attacking mid, right winger, striker and left winger, so on both wings and as a striker and as a number 10. Uh, he, he's got three traits as I mentioned, finesse, shot, flair and technical dribbler. 66 overall and he has got a potential of 85 in career mode, so very, very high indeed for the Manchester City, well, all-rounder seemingly when it comes to attacking play. Four-star weak for three-star skill moves, he's left-footed and five foot seven, and you'll have seen his work rates there as well. In at number Number nine, we've got Elias Abushabaka. I don't know if I've pronounced that right, or Abu Shabaka, I'm not entirely sure. From RB Leipzig, though, is the young German. Plays as an attacking midfielder, he's 17 years of age. Best attributes on his physicals there, I think, was, was it agility and balance, I think, for him, so you can tell what sort of number 10 he's going to be, the one who's actually decent at dribbling, etc. Also, all right, ball control, dribbling, as I mentioned, short passing is there, and yellow as well. Three-star skill moves and three-star weak foot on this guy. He's also left-footed, slightly taller, though, he is six foot tall. Medium attacking and defensive work rate for the 62 overall attacking midfielder who also has a potential of 85 similar to Brian Diaz a moment ago. At number 8 we have got Jean Fieta Arp, I'm not entirely sure I pronounced um, Fieta Fieta, I'm not entirely sure how that's pronounced but very decent finisher of the ball is the Hamburg striker, 17 years of age, 63 overall at the start of the game, shot power, long shots, finishing, dribbling, heading accuracy and volleys are the best there on his technicals and obviously his shooting is his best overall attribute. Three star skill moves and three star weak foot, again six foot just like Abu Shabaka who we just saw a moment ago and again left footed. Why is flipping everybody in this video left footed so far? Medium attacking and defensive work great for him and again has the potential to grow to 85. Very good player indeed and new to the game for this year. Ben Woodburn featured, or Ben Woodburn sorry, featured on FIFA 17 did the Liverpool winger but he's back again and with a potential of 85 for the Welshman. Very quick, very agile and also decent balance for him as well. Can play as a left winger, striker or an attacking midfielder. 17 years of age and Liverpool fans Myself and everyone else were going mental about this kid because he does genuinely look as if he could potentially be the real deal. Hence why he's got a potential of 85 on FIFA 18 career mode. Three star skill moves, four star weak foot for him. Guess what foot is, is his preferred? Yes, you guessed it. It's left. There aren't any right footed youngsters anymore. They're all a dying breed. High attacking work rate though for Ben Woodburn. In at number six, we've now got Vincent Thiel, the Luxembourg striker, playing for Mets. Can play as an attacking mid or a centre forward. Uh, 86 balance is his best attribute overall. Good pace and free kick accuracy too. Interestingly, you'll have noticed I actually introduced him as a striker. He's clearly changed position because he was a centre forward slash a striker at 16 back on FIFA 17. Uh, he's now 17 years of age and he's now an attacking midfielder. Is uh, the 63 overall, well I was about to say striker again. You can see his traits down the background. Injury prone unfortunately which is a bit of a negative about him. But he has got the flair trait as well. High attacking work rate, 5 foot 9, 3 star skill moves, 2 star weak foot and again is left footed. Is this, is this a glitch? Is this a glitch or is everyone genuinely left footed? Like, I'm I'm starting to actually question this. We'll use this as an experiment video now. Is there a glitch in career mode? Anyway, in at number five, we're halfway through. We've now got the Bayern goalkeeper, Christian Fruchtel. Um, a lot of people have been talking to me about this guy. He was 58 on FIFA 17, had a bit of a boost up to 65. And everyone's like, oh, you need to include him in videos. Well, here he is. He's got a very, very high potential now of 86. The first of the 86 potential players. Goalkeeping, uh, goalkeeping attributes, sorry, are very good. 
And this guy is apparently left footed as well. I just, I'm not going to lie, I just do think that's a glitch. Six foot four as well, which is very good for a goalkeeper because small goalkeepers can sometimes perform a lot worse on the game. In at number four, though, we're back to England and we've got Ryan Sessignon of Fulham. 86 sprint speed, 83 balance as well as good sprint speed. Wait, hang on, no, as well as good acceleration, sorry, and dribbling too. 17 years of age, can play as a left back or a left winger, although I assume he could probably comfortably play as a left midfielder too if you really wanted him uh, in that position. 67 overall, and he has also got a potential of 86 in FIFA 18 career mode. Three star weak foot, three star skill moves, five foot ten, high attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate, and his athleticism is his overall best attribute. So, uh, yeah, he's a very, very quick player and also pretty agile. And uh, moving on with that trend, and Continuing with that, with that trend, we've got Jaden Sancho of Borussia Dortmund. Can play as a left winger or a right winger. His best attributes are agility, balance, and of course speed. Dribbling there as well is 73 for the 63 overall man from Dortmund. He signed to Dortmund from Manchester City, which is very interesting actually for an English youngster because English players are sometimes blasted really for not trying to go abroad and try and broaden their horizon in, uh, in different playing climates. But Jaden Sancho is breaking the mould. He's gone over to Germany to play for for Dortmund. Four star skill moves on this guy which is always helpful when it comes to wingers. Three star, uh, three star weak foot sorry as well. Apparently he's left footed. I don't even know anymore. Medium attacking and defensive work rate though there as well on Jadon Sancho X of Manchester City. In a number two is the player with the best overall in this video but he's actually got the joint best potential uh, with the guy who's in at number one. This is Matis De Ligt of Ajax, the 17 year old centre back who has got some ridiculous attributes for such a young player. 76 overall as I mentioned already 83 shot power as well for a centre-back that's ridiculous and he's got the trait of power header which I'm pretty sure we haven't seen before but regardless of that Matty's delict yeah I mean this guy is just astonishing he will cost quite a lot though because he's overall so high and of course he's got that potential as well four star weak foot two star skill moves six foot two is the Dutchman playing over in the Eredivisie a medium attacking and defensive work rate but he's not in at number one because that's been taken by this man here Angel Gomez of England surprisingly I assume he's got Portuguese background especially Especially given I've seen him pictured with Cristiano Ronaldo and Nani as a youngster. He's still a youngster now, realistically. 16 years of age as the 64 overall attacking midfielder, who can also play on both wings and as a traditional central midfielder. His technical stats are pretty decent already, and he's got that flair trait as well. This guy, I'm looking forward to seeing him at full potential, even though he does, of course, play for Manchester United. Hopefully he moves away, and we get to see his good potential somewhere else. I'm sorry, United fans, but I just can't stand... To see, just, I, I'm not even going to go there, but you, you know what I'm trying to say. Regardless of that, though, Angel Gomez with two-star skill moves, interestingly. Should definitely have three or four, in my opinion. I think that's a bit of a mistake from EA. High attacking work rate as well on him and four-star weak foot for the number one best under-18 player in this video. Although, of course, it is kind of joint with Matisse Delict. In fact, if anything, Matisse Delict should have been number one because he had the better overall. But who knows? Who even knows? Maybe Angel Gomez wins based on his age. I don't even know, but what I'm trying to say is Angel Gomez and Matis Delict are the best players of this age group on the game. 89 potential for both of them is ridiculous. Jordan Sancho, Ryan Sessegnon, Christian Frutzel, all with 86, and the rest of the guys in this video, all with 85 potential. One thing is for sure, whichever players you decide to buy using this video will turn into absolute heroes in your respective career mode saves, because they've all got very good potential, and they're all going to be very good in the future. But apart from that, we are basically done here in today's video and if you have enjoyed then I would implore you to slap a like on the video because it really helps me out and if you're new to the channel then of course make sure to subscribe for videos like this if of course you enjoyed this one because there's going to be plenty of content like this in the future and of course a FIFA 18 career mode with Bournemouth going on at the moment. If you enjoyed the video that much then make sure to you know slap a comment down in the comment section and you can leave your suggestions for tips videos that I should do in the future. I'm always open to suggestions. You can also now follow me on Twitter. My handle is at the official FNG. Links to that are in the description and my Instagram will be on the screen now as well. That is at the official FNG too. So exactly the same handle and links to that are down there in the description as well. But apart from that, it has been an absolute pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy yourselves and goodbye. I roll out with some monsters. Looks like your team and you watches. I no roll with imposters. Try the man in the Oscars. I'm drunk of I have a career, I am jobless.
you f me so hard, I might just end up unconscious. I like girls in lingerie, especially if it is crushes. Bitch, I am the bigger picture. There is no way you can crop it.